can't see me. Let's go. What up, everybody? You can't see me here today back again, jumping back into Imperion Galactic Survival. So, thank you, everybody, for stopping through, first of all. Appreciate all the love, support. You know what? And, and let me say this. The community, I thank y'all because it's a great community. And all of the comments and, and the communication and the info that people share, man, it has been so helpful. I had a person come through who needed help with the file and, and moving some files. And so I hit my group, my Facebook group, and the people in there, and some people come through as well, had the information. And they helped, and it helped him, and he was very happy. So, man, everybody's showing love all the way around from the Facebook group to the cats who come through in comments. You just don't know how helpful it is and how much I appreciate it, how much the community appreciates all the people who are just trying to learn in general. I've learned so much. Others have learned so much, all right? So I just want to say that, man. Thank you all once again. So Release Candidate 2 has just dropped, right? And it brought some updates. It brought a lot of changes. I normally do a video on it. I didn't do a video uh, this time because Stable is supposed to drop in a few days. So I'm going to just do the video with Stable. Now, one thing it did do to my world, I didn't think I would need to restart again. And I may have to restart again, y'all. I know most people say they don't mind. I wanted to restart and not really guide mode it up. You know, so this, this playthrough has just been all natural, <laughs> so to speak. This is one of the things that the update did. You see this? Now I know this from seeing some other folks video when like Alpha 8 dropped or when a different patch for 7.6 dropped. You see how this is like a straight edge. Now let me know in the comments if this is something they added now and this is natural. I know when I saved, it wasn't like this. The land was smooth when I saved. I was all over here. This did not exist. And the update hit today and this is changed so i may have to restart again it luckily is friday so tomorrow saturday even though i do got some some work and i got a photo gig um i'm gonna try to just go hard tonight and guide mode a little bit and just at least get back to this point so let me know what you think let me know if you've seen this in your seed if this is natural if this is unnatural which i believe it is i'm gonna show y'all a couple tips that i learned too real quickly but let's i'm gonna show y'all this so when I was kind of going around, I've been exploring. I found this here. Here's another floating POI. This one was called the Shrine. I don't know that it shoots. I didn't get, oh, it shoots, it shoots, it shoots, it shoots, it shoots. Oh, snap. Okay, so yeah, we, we did find out that it does shoot. Wow. So I can't tackle that as well till we in an SV and I can really go with they turrets. Dang. And look at this. Out of it stuck right here. I'm glad this is out of range. Okay. Another thing that happened. I had something blow up on the front of my HV last night. I was like, dang, what happened? And then I can see that they've updated. If you look at the icon down there, the my turret, they updated that. And then I noticed the harvester is gone. So they blew my harvester up. Tip my harvester is gone. I had the harvester on there in the last ep. So I'm going to put that back. Uh, in a second, need to craft that. Man, I took a little damage. But yes, at first I thought that the update glitched it out and my harvester was gone, but such is not the case. So now I'm kind of at an impasse once again, because I'm like, should I, you know, go? Okay, let me go back. My goal was to go ahead and start a base today. But seeing as you have these little like tears and these messes up with the terrain i don't know if i should start a base or not i've been kind of slow playing it waiting for stable anyway because once again stable is supposed to release on the 12th so yeah i've been kind of slow playing it but um at this point i don't know let me know in the comments what you think um what you think we should do all right so let me get to a little flat area real quick i'm gonna show y'all a couple tips guys this is something i learned once again from all my people who show that support Thank you, thank you, thank you. So in the last episode, I was having difficulty shooting, right? Now you see how I'm making this thing pop a wheelie? Look at that. Oh, okay, I can't do it in that mode. So you see this? You see how I can aim down, aim up? Well, first of all, I'll tell you how to do that. First of all, the crosshairs. My crosshairs were up really high and it was hard for me to get it down with the mouse. If you hit page up, page down, 
it will bring your field of vision down. So that changes the angle with your ship, but if you don't mind me like that, then it'll get you a better firing angle. And you may even need to do that when you're about to battle something, you know? Of course, jumping in the cockpit helps too. Of course, and you get a better view right there. But if you're like this, get an Xbox controller. If you use the Xbox controller, you can do this. You can pop it up and do like a full wheelie. You cannot do that with your mouse. You'll be scraping that mouse a thousand times and it'll never do this. You can shoot upward with this. You can shoot downward with this. So I was gonna put the thrusters on a switch. Another technique you can do is put your thrusters on a switch, which actually helps with drilling too when you get a drill. You put them on one of these custom joints go to your devices and assign them a certain way and you can switch them on and off and not your thrusters you want to do it with your hover engines you do it in the front it lets it drop or if you add six hover engines have six total just do the ones in the front it'll kind of still balance your equilibrium so yeah thank you to all my peoples who was uh helping give that info as well who was noticing that i couldn't aim the way i wanted to I actually thought about doing a base right here and going into this mountain because this is where I started. This is the starter biome. So this isn't too far. Now I did want to intentionally not build in the starter biome. I started too, but to me that's just too safe. I'm gonna build in a grassland area. Like I'm not gonna build in a, in a radiated biome, but that may be a goal for a future video. Yeah, I found the shrine that was just a shooting at us. Um, these are the Titans up here. Damaged the alien tower. Uh, the Sentinel and the unknown artifact. This is the other floating POI. Now this, this is a lot of stuff. This is how much stuff was on the whole planet just about before. I marked these for bases. I actually circled the whole South Pole. Found a temple. I found the drone base and the power stations that are guarding it. You know, I always think everything is the drone base. A lot of silicone so yeah i just circled that that took a while i was doing that last night fortifications and an alien watchtower so this area right here houses um and i think we looked at this in the last video but this area houses that compound that the aliens is really dangerous it got a floating joint it got fortifications it had all kind of stuff right there and these are two, this is a radiated biome, this is another one, but it has Prometheum and everything. This one might too, but I didn't really notice the first time I went there. And yeah, I'm driving the HV with the um, with the controller. When I did it with the SV, like, it was okay. But the, the controller was made for the HV. It's hard to aim so you can fire in the SV. The HV is like just right. Up oh, advanced vehicle port. Where is that? I don't even see it. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can put some eyes on this. Uh, okay, okay. It's a lot of alien POIs. Now I gotta be careful because that means the patrol is also gonna be near here too. Oh, sh ooh, ooh, oh shoot. <laughs> it's firing too. Rocket drone. Yeah, the, the danger is real. And I like it, but the danger is real now. Ooh, it's real. The aliens are everywhere. And, and you are definitely trying to stay alive. The aliens, the spiders, it's just so much to deal with. But that's what's up. I find that the grasslands don't house an abundance of spiders. But they could appear, and that's cool. That would uh, let my base fire defend itself. You know, I got to put some turrets up. Got a little water source right here. I'm not too far from the radiated biomes. Really, it's not that far. I think I'm near the border where um, the map splits. So it feels like it's further than it is because we just hit the split point. But really, it's not that far from the radiated biome. We are close to 
the starter biome the titan is right above this due north so yeah i'm thinking this may be where i plant my flag okay so i also noticed that they updated a lot of the icons again like this light looks different that looks different i just noticed some things look different this cargo block looks different so they updated thumbnails as well they also gave more animations to like the xerax um yeah they've definitely adjusted this harvester looks different let me craft that the chainsaw looks different you remember the gatling gun had like blue in it let's see anything else notable or noticeable not really but i have to uh craft some other things okay guys so i went ahead and crafted my base starter block uh, door. So I'm basically crafting all of the base components. I'm going to make a real basic base because I need this large constructor. And hey, we'll just do what we can do. We'll roll the way we can roll until stable hits. If I need to restart, I will. Um, at that time with stable, I may spawn in some of my former builds. I may use some of my blueprints, so to speak. And I also am gonna do some highlights. Let me tell y'all that too. So if you if you build, got some designs, I am gonna start using other people's designs. I like to build my own, but you know, I am not the premier builder. So I'm gonna start highlighting other people's builds. I'm gonna use some in game and I'm gonna do just some totally specific, just a, a video highlighting people's builds, their vessels, their bases. You know, I ain't gonna do everybody's, but um, if I like it, I'll put it on the page and either give it a highlight or use it in game um, And to that note, I do already have some In plan. I got some from my group. I've got some from my people who do come through So yeah, just know it's already a few that'll be done first, but I will get you in there if you legit So yeah, this would be more of a simple base And I'm a uh, Keep it fairly simple and then i'm gonna put the constructor in there because i need to build some defenses i also need to build like my t2 drill things of that nature okay guys so i actually had to run around and get some more copper i was running out of copper this is once again this is just a little makeshift base this ain't nothing major um i ain't gonna go in the way i did with my last base in the earlier alpha 8 Although, you know me. Who knows? I might expand and, you know what I mean, start doing stuff and just not care. But, uh, yeah, we, we're really just mainly anticipating and waiting to release uh, the stable. So, And just in case you don't know, when you're putting down blocks, if you put page up, page down, so you got it aligned, but it won't lock in, you can do that. So... I'm probably build in the direction of the lake when I spread it out or if I expand it just so I can um easily get oxygen and water so boom and okay so let's go to our symmetry plane do the X Y and boom we'll go this way for now One, two, three, four, five. We'll go this way. Uh, that's five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the wall. So it's ten in between. Plus the wall. And we'll fill this in. Ah, not what I was trying to do, but okay. If you hold control, it will do like that or like that. 
You just got to move it a certain way and then it'll flatten out. So I'm going to fill this in. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Go like that. And then we'll do it like this just to add a little flavor. We'll come straight down, boom. I've gotten like fairly good with the triangles, but like that's it. I'm not the way some people be making it like it's super dope. Oh, I'm gonna need more blocks. I thought that would be enough. I did 250. We ran through that very quickly. So yeah, that triangle is like a basic, a basic thing to start with when you're still trying to get your block game right. Because I'm out of crushed stone and I need to get some more of that right now this base is going to be open. All right, let me get my power source down. Let's see if I can get rid of some of this. I'm going to get rid of all this grass. There we go. All right, so for now For now, we'll put this right here. How about I put the generator up here? And the fuel tank as well. I gotta see how much radiation that generates. We'll put our ammo box on this same side that the constructor is on. And we may put our cargo boxes right there too. Gonna put a door right here. And we'll do it on that side. All right, we finna go ahead and power this bad boy up. Above 50%. All right. Okay, cool, I'm not getting the radiation that you normally get. Oh, I gotta turn the base on. Why? All right, let's see if we get radiation. Cool, no radiation. Let's see if we jump up. Yeah, it, okay, cool. That keeps us somewhat radiation free for now. See what we can craft up in here. Yeah, way more on that list. Way more, way more. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Let's see weapons. Yeah, there we go. The T2 drill. I thought I upgraded my assault rifle too. This is what I need though, these cannon turrets. So I'm gonna have to get some resources out of here. Okay guys, cool. So where they cop around here? Oh, I just harvested up some food. Well, they didn't harvest it, I destroyed it though. Okay guys, so I need to continue harvesting. I need a lot of basically every resource, but right now I need copper, so I've been collecting some copper um, just to, to build a few more things like my defenses among other things so I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm gonna build up a few things build this out and see what it looks like it's what we got so far and I'm gonna keep working on this and in the next video uh, we'll continue growing this out some you know I'll show you the cannons I should have those up and uh, we get ready for an SV all right, you can't see me. Hit me in that comment box. 
you know, leave me that info. Leave me them tips. Let me know what you think. Let me know where you're at and what you're going to do in regards to the release candidate too. If it affected your world to the point that you're going to restart. Or you're just going to wait at this point until stable releases. All right. You can't see me. Perion Galactic Survival. Man, more updates, more greatness implemented in this game. We just start another base. Thank you once again to everybody for sharing the information, for coming through support, and just really helping everyone in this community, man. You just don't know how much it helps and how much people appreciate it. All right, so thank y'all. You can't see me. Thank you for stopping through. You know what you must do. Make your next move your best move, all right? Peace. You can't see me. Let's go. It's game time and I bang mine, yo, yo, yo.